I'm a huge fan of 7-inch quads. In my opinion, they combine the best of both worlds. They can be both fast and agile, just like 5-inch quads. And at the same time, if you only want to, you can fly them for long or far, far away. Long range and freestyle combined. And they do sound kinda cool. Ever since I started flying with 7 inches, I was looking for a perfect combination of components. Both hardware and software. And you know what? I found it. It's called the Pyrx HD7 Long Range and it's my ideal 7 inch quad. That's the Pyrx HD7 Long Range. And as you can see, she is rather a big girl. So let me remove the propeller so it will fit nicely in the view. Okay, that's more like it. When I designed the Pyrx series of frames, my main idea was to A, keep it simple, B, keep it durable, and C, keep it big enough so you can fit whatever you want inside of the frame without worrying too much. Yes, I know, I could have made it smaller, but at the other hand now, this setup will fit absolutely everything you might want to put on the 7 inch long range build. If you want to, you can even put the additional bidirectional telemetry, for example Mavlik, with the separate antenna somewhere in the back. And finally, because this frame is not shy on carbon, it will not break easily. Of course, nothing survives hitting concrete at high speed, but if you do not hit concrete, you should be fine. Arms are 6 mm thick, the bottom plate is 4 mm thick, and both top plate as well as the front and rear extensions are 2 mm thick. The front section will accept any camera you want to, both analog and digital. In the middle section you get 32 and a half millimeters between the decks, so any height of the flight stack will fit and you will even have enough of the space left to fit anything you want like a buzzer between the flight controller and the top deck. And finally in the back you get 25 millimeters between decks and enough of the rooms to fit any type of the VTX you want to. Vista, full size air unit, O3 air unit, walk snail, analog, fits absolutely everything. And because it's a long-range capable quad, in the back there is of course a GPS and a magnetometer module. This one is the Matek M10, which in my opinion is currently the best GPS on the market. And everything is held together nicely with the TPU printed mount. You will not break this thing absolutely not a chance. And because this quad was built with the navigation capabilities in mind, the motors and other metals are far enough from the GPS and the magnetometer so that the navigation, landing, position hold, waypoints, everything works perfectly. This video was brought to you by my Patreons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month and you will get some special benefits out of this deal. And of course, in the front section, you can mount the HD camera of your choice. Mine is set up to carry the GoPro Hero 10, but you will fit everything else as well. Okay, maybe not a cinema camera, but any kind of the action camera will fit. And by the way, I like this part very much. The vertically mounted XT60 plug makes plugging in the battery and unplugging it a very simple process. And what's more important, the cables are not messing around and are always tightly held in place. And because the 
mount is TPU 3D printed, there is enough of the movement and the play and the stress relief, so you will not rip the plug out of this thing. Now, let's talk about the motors. Like the majority of my 7 inch builds, I'm using the Emacs Eco 2 2807 motors. I do find them a very good quality for the price and I like how they behave in flight. Enough of the torque and enough of the power for basically any 7 inch build. In terms of the flight controller, I'm using the Matek H743 Slim. The ideal best quad needs an ideal and the best flight controller. Good quality, a lot of serial ports, well thought through design and works perfectly. I admit I went too far with this design because this design has the Foxy Reaper 65 amp ESCs on board and you really do not need a 65 amp ESCs on the 7 inch quads but I decided I want to be on the safe side of the things so this is why 65 amps ESC but between you and me 35 40 amps would be absolutely enough the proper unloads, the battery sucks and you cannot really pull that much of the current for long enough to fry the ESCs. You will find the list of all the components used in this build in the description of the video. And especially I recommend the frame, because if you buy the Pyrx HD7 long range, you do support the FPV University and my work on YouTube. And finally, the 7 inch propellers. The HQ Prop 7x4x3 is in in my opinion the best 7 inch propeller on the market. This is just the best and the most universal one. Nice flippity floppy, nice endurance, low noise and very little vibrations. And also they can survive quite a lot of beating before you have to replace them. Don't look for anything else for the 7 inch builds. And that, boys and girls, is my ideal 7 inch quad. Yeah. Yes, this one is built for the long range issue suggest, but it can do flippity floppy absolutely not a problem. And if you want to, you can even fly this thing through gates and pretend you are racing against the 5 inch drones. You will lose. But you can pretend. If you have any comments about the build, please write them down in the comment section of this video. Let's have a nice discussion on the subject. And you know, let's increase the YouTube engagement rate. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!